What I would like to do is examine today with you how modern doctrines, in particular international criminal justice, the responsibility to protect, and the rule of law, have contributed to the advancement of lasting peace and whether it's more likely that they could deliver more in the future. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, I believe, remains largely aspirational. Its commitments are ultimately hostage to the competing principle of state sovereignty, which places on states almost exclusively the responsibility for the well-being of their citizens and to the weak institutional structures designed to promote and protect human rights at regional and international levels. Of course, peace is unlikely to be sustainable over time without any justice. But in the short term, in some instances, the initiation and the unfolding of criminal prosecutions can complicate, if not actually impede, peace processes. To keep pretending that there's no tension between peace and justice and that, quote, we deserve both, without explaining how, is in my view unhelpful and giving the increasing challenges to both the institution and now to the concept itself, it could prove devastating. Promotion of the rule of law has become the new mantra in international affairs, both in development project and in the prevention of conflict. But what is contemplated is often, in my view, an impoverished version of the rule of law used as a substitute for law enforcement, which in turn can easily be manipulated to strengthen the repressive capacity of the state. Despite the growing interest in the promotion of rule of law internationally, legal theory is not about to replace interstate politics, and the sacred principle of state sovereignty will make difficult the promotion of this substantive vision of the rule of law. When human rights violations become cause and effect of deadly conflict anywhere, they mortgage our conscience, if not our security. In the rush to provide relief, we should not lose sight of the integrity of the tools at our disposal. Today, I'm afraid that they're under siege and in a state of considerable disarray. Thank you very much for your attention.